So what do you all think? Are we on a climate change collision course? Could this be the next day after tomorrow? We just don't know. Not sure maybe a lot of you have seen that movie. Makes you wonder about what's really going on with all the weird catastrophic events that are taking place. And unfortunately, we're not even talking about any hurricanes, now are we? So in this video today, we're gonna dive into are we on a climate change collision course and what this could mean for our future and why we need to be prepping and why we need to stay ahead of the game. So thank you for joining me today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Let's get going on this video. So as man has been standing and wondering what to do about what is coming and asked himself how we got in this situation. It's just a matter of time before Mother Nature really decides what she wants to do and when she wants to do it. You see, man has been destroying this world that we live in, that we call home for a very long time. We've been standing on the edge for a very long time and it is time for us to make some changes, maybe some drastic changes. You know, nowadays you have all these scientists and stuff, they scale all these mountains and they're ch studying and changing and looking for all these changing conditions that are taking place. They're risking their lives, folks, to try to figure out exactly what is happening with all this ice melt. These glaciers, thousands and thousands of years old, what are they doing? They're just basically melting away, melting away and filling the oceans with fresh water, which is a very, very bad thing. Do your homework. You can figure this one out. But we all have seen the videos of the glaciers, monsters in size, breaking off from the ice shields and the Arctic and just floating away and melting. It's a very, very sad situation that we are in. The earth is warming at an alarming rate. It doesn't take a scientist to figure out. All this ice melts. What does it mean for our future? What does it mean for our grandkids? What will it mean for our food supply, the way we live our daily lives. You see, all this stuff is all melting at a very high rate. And all this water ends up in the oceans. This past July was just the hottest July on record since they've been keeping records over 140 years ago. Everything is melting, melting and melting and melting from the North Pole to the South Pole. It's a nonstop thing. It's something that we have created. And I think that we have gone past the point of no return. Now, a lot of scientists do think that we still have a chance and everything else. But if you look what's really going on in this world, with all the different catastrophic events and everything that is taking place, well, folks, it just doesn't look too good now, does it? The ice just keeps melting. Certain parts of the world are just heating up. Ungodly heat, breaking records. And what are we doing? We don't hear about anything that anybody the government wants to do. They want to spend trillions of dollars for what? Sure not to produce more ice. You see all these little icebergs, they all float out into the oceans. They all end up melting. What happens? The ice shields in the Arctic, as you can see here, they're all melting. They're all moving way back. They've shrunk in size and it's just an amazing thing to see. It's scary. And unfortunately, hopefully, not irreversible. What takes place next? All the oceans start rising. And we know how this is all going to play out, folks. They've already said 
a lot of land that's along any ocean is going to start flooding and it will no longer be able to be used will not be able to be habitated nobody can live there nobody can do anything but the oceans just keep rising the oceans are getting warmer the oceans are also mixing with more fresh water which could cause a shift in the Gulf Stream this is actually a true fact folks floods of all different type of biblical proportions are going to be occurring and have occurred throughout the world just this year the floods are doing just unrelentless killing thousands of people destroying homes water is just backing up everywhere coming out of any pipe drain anything it's just what's taking place there's nowhere for this water to go the storms are just getting worse we've had devastating tornadoes outbreaks we've had brief encounters with some hurricanes we've had brief encounters with typhoons the blizzards in the winter they're just getting worse and worse it's either you're going to be real hot or you're going to be real cold and what does that lead us to what happens to our food supply right now out west everything is drying up farmers are having to pick and choose which fields they're going to plant because that's the only water they have they don't have enough to do it all and then we have the world leaders all deciding trying to figure out a plan trying to figure out how to get us out of this mess when in all reality more than likely they caused a lot of this mess because they don't want to do too much about it they never have it affects their bottom line it affects the money as i say follow the money so what do we do I think it's time for people to start being prepared. I think it's time before you run out of time to hit the stores, to start doing your shopping, look for your good deals, get your buy one, get ones, coupons, whatever else there may be out there. Maybe it's time for you to fire up that old tiller and start planting your own garden. Take the bull by the horns, folks. Make sure you're buying yourself some good seed. And if you live in a place where you can do your own garden, I think that is really the way to go. Because the prices with inflation, the prices with everything that is taking place, it is just getting ridiculous. So if you can do your own garden, you merely, really, really want to make sure you're really looking into this. Because this could be the future. Because the farmers are running out of their own water to f water all these huge, huge properties they have. It'd be much easier for you to water a small garden and have your own food supply. So until then, folks, what do we do? We sit back and we watch the sunset on a daily basis. And we hope and pray that none of this ever does come true. We hope and pray that things will change. We hope the chaos goes away. And by chaos, you all know what I'm talking about. We hope that everything in the end will be just fine for you, me, our families, our grandkids, and the future of this world. We have to be self-sustainable. We have to rely on our knowledge and we have to rely on things that we know how to do to make sure that we can survive in the end so until next time folks i'm survival preparedness for beginners mm -hmm.